What up? Tyler here, Tyler Academy, don't forget to like, subscribe. Okay, so we're looking at graphing linear inequalities. And you're thinking to yourself, that sounds complicated. It's not, you're just graphing a line that is not an equal sign. Okay, let's look at this. We've got our x-axis, we've got our y-axis. It's in what we would say is like standard form, ax plus by plus or minus is greater than c, whatever. You've got number x, number y, c on the other side. Here we go. Here we go. First step, you almost pretend that this is not an inequality. Pretend like it's an equal sign because you want to plot this line. Easiest way to plot this line is to do the x and y intercepts. The reason that's easy, the easiest way, is because you're plugging zero in and it's just, it's just the quickest and easiest way. So for instance, to find the y-intercept, I'm gonna pretend like x is zero. You could put zero in or you can just cover it up. So you've got negative five y, I said you can pretend this is an equal sign, zero. What do I do to get y by itself? Divide by negative five. Very good, which equals? Zero. Zero. So that's my y-intercept. Now, for my x-intercept, what am I doing? And cover that up. Yeah, what is it? X equals? Zero. Zero. Uh-oh. 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 Uh is there a problem here? The last problem we put in the X and Y intercept, they were there and there. We drew our line. It was nice and neat and easy. Can't do that now, can we? No. We need two points that are not the exact same point. So that means we're going to have to plug a number in for X or Y and find it. Yeah, not fun. What number do you want to put in for X? Two. Two. So our X is going to be two. That's really small. So our x is two. And then we just solve for our y. Like I said, we can pretend like this is an equal sign right now because we're just plotting points. What do I do to that two? Subtract it. And then what do I do? Divide by negative, or divide by negative five, which negative two divided by negative five is two. positive. Five over two, which is 2.5. Very good. Okay? Usually, if you're doing this problem, you might want to think ahead and be like, what can I plug in so that I get a whole number? Because nobody likes decimals or fractions unless you have to, but we're here, so let's do this. So I go over two, up 2.5. If you have a real graph, it's usually prettier than this. Okay? Now, this also kind of screws up what I usually tell you guys on which coordinate to pick out, doesn't it? What do I usually tell you guys to pick out and then say, Here. plug the point in and find it? Yeah, we can't use the origin, why not? It's on the origin. It's on the origin, okay? But before we do that, we're about to draw our line. We need to know if it's a solid line or a? Dotted or dash. Dash, dotted, whatever you want to call it, dash line. This little guy right here tells me if it is or isn't solid or dashed. Solid. This one is gonna be solid, very good, because it can be equal to it, which means the random coordinate we pick can be on this line, therefore it has to be a solid line. Now, used to, I would say, now, to figure out where to shade, plug in your origin, and then if it works, shade that side. If it doesn't work, shade the other side. We can't do that here, can we? So, we need to pick a coordinate that is either over here or over here. What coordinate do you guys want to pick? Two, five. Two, two. Two, two or two, five? You said two, five first, we'll go with that. So we're gonna go over two, up five, right? So let's plug those in. What goes in for X? Two. two. Minus five times what? Five. Five is less than or equal to zero. Okay, negative five times five is? Two, two minus 25. What's two minus 25? Negative 23. 23. 23. Huh? Does that work? Is that correct? Yes. Is that a correct statement? Yes. yes. Therefore, would this point allow, be allowed to fit into this equation? Yes. So therefore, we shade where that point is. Shade. And you done. We out of here. We out. We out here. Like and subscribe. Oh! Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.